Ms. Marsh, you claim your ex, Mr. Belding, and his mother have made false accusations about the paternity of your three-year-old daughter, Jordan. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Belding, you're here with your mother. Do you claim little Jordan's biological father may be your own father? Yes, Your Honor. Whoa. Uh, so you've also petitioned the court for a lie detector test for Ms. Marsh to determine the extent of her relationship with your dad. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Belding's father will also be joining us to respond to that accusation in just a few moments. So, Mr. Belding. Yes, Your Honor. Your own father. Yes, Please Your explain. Honor. He, uh, we were living in Georgia, then he moved back to Indiana and got a room or he shared a room with Amber. He had nowhere to go, so I took him in. Excuse me, Your Honor, but his uh, sister lives there. He has numerous friends in Indiana. His sister would not I live, live there. With her He's at a, all. He works. He could have lived other places than with her. He's lived with her off and on for the past three years. It was really? with, with, Yes. Excuse me, Your Honor, it was with me and my mom, as a matter of fact, and he slept in a totally different room. It was a three bedroom house. We that never was slept the first in the house. Same room. Yeah. And there, we, there's we've been always several. had more than three rooms. Okay, but I have to ask, Miss Marsh. Out of all the places you could live? <clears throat> he had nowhere to go. Literally, mm -hmm. I asked his sister, and his sister said, no, I'm not going to let so, a man Bell. I call my dad <clears throat> stay on the streets. What other reason do you have to believe that Ms. Marsh was possibly sleeping with your father, or you're not the biological father of her child? Just when I moved back to Indiana, there was a bunch of my friends that had said she had slept with them no, after she had me. slept with excuse me. Excuse me, Your Honor. Excuse no, me, too, Your Honor. She's that's already had it. one man tested before Zach. I didn't have him tested. He had her tested. I told him not because to Because she it. told us that it was a I possibility have, to begin with. I have with. all the proof of that. I know who the father of my daughter is and is this man right here. But she thinks Zach's the dad, but he can't do nothing with her. He's not allowed. And yes, she did let me in one time to see Jordan. Three times. But any other times, she slammed the door in my face. Except for the night you spent the night and you had sex with her, which was just two months ago, yeah. Your we Honor. We didn't have sex. Your so for them to the be together bed, for Honor. a year, she must be sleeping around, is all I've got to say. No, no. He all came right. over with his friend Why and he was drunk. Why do you doubt that your son is her child's father when you know your son was in a relationship yes, with her? Why do you have so many doubts? She gave us the doubt because she told us very plainly she came back to Indiana to give birth to Jordan. She had Excuse another me, man. I never said she, that. Can I, can I finish? I she had another that. man there while the baby was being de delivered no, that was, was her no fiancé at the time. There was no one else in the room except for my mother. And, and her course, boyfriend, fiancé at the time. I'm sorry that you're... you're uh, was your there a man at the up. hospital, Ms. Marsh, that claimed to be your fiancé when you no, were having the baby? No, he's he lying. No, he did not claim to be, be my fiancé at all. I would never, ever give it that she, man. She already said he's going to be the dad. I'm going to sign the birth certificate. We were all there when it happened. Because he was around for nine and a half months. He ch no, there's been three other men that I know there's of, and no I haven't man. been around her for two years. There's been no men. She will call me out of the blues. Hey, can I'd, you keep Jordan? I'd, She'll bring her. I changed two my diapers. number for her not to call me. I thought I you just said an that... hour and a half a away, so they something. would stop harassing. She just said that she that her Zach they didn't want to see her. Now we harass her. She needs to get her I'd story straight, Your Honor. Trash. If she thinks I'm the father, why did she have another man sign the birth certificate? Excuse me, ma'am. I have the birth certificate. I have the birth certificate right here. Her certificate's right here, and there is no other man. Okay, on this can birth I say it's because she lies to us all the time? Well, we don't let know me what see to that believe. Birth certificate. There's no okay. other man. Okay, because she's on this such birth a liar. While I'm, while I'm looking at this birth certificate. Yes, ma'am. You all got to make me understand this. Now, you all met in high school? 14 years old. At 14? Yes. So you all were in a relationship, boyfriend and girlfriend? No, not yes. really. Off, off and on. So it was off and on for Just years. A sexual thing. But during this time, you were together. That's when you got pregnant. Yeah. No. It was after I had I had moved to Georgia to live with him and his dad to and join now, the military. That was totally a surprise too. I didn't know she was her, coming. Her dad, my, his my dad, dad did that. Zachary had Zachary didn't want nothing to do with her. His dad sent for her down there. It's funny because I still have messages on my mom's phone from him saying, "Baby, I can't wait till you get here." You got those. So evidence? now, Mr. Belding, that's another reason why you think your father. He had her come was down there. possibly sleeping with her too because he's the one that decided yeah. to have her come down. Yes. Yeah. And, and then, and then right. he left Zachary in Georgia by himself, came up here and moved in with her and just left Zach. Because he had nowhere to go. Nowhere. And I'm not the kind of woman to let a man stay on the streets. We just gave a homeless man a sandwich not even a day ago. Mm. <laughs> Mr. Belding, 
another man in your mind signed the birth certificate. I have it right here. Let me yeah, see. Yeah, this is what I was told. I didn't. I didn't see a picture. Because he of believes everything his mommy says. Because he's a mommy's boy. No, there is. <laughs> there's no <clears throat> person listed as father on the birth certificate. That's because she lies to us about everything. But there was a man. No, Who he, introduced you to she, well, she did. She's hallucinating because she was drunk when she showed up to the delivery room. That's a lie. <laughs> Your Honor, that's not what happened. Yes, that's that a is total what happened. Lie. I, I walked the hospital with her she was drunk. for you six the hours. Her breath. We'll yeah, find out with the lie detector because she's a liar. Mr. Belding, you don't think you're Jordan's biological father and you really think your dad is. I wouldn't think my dad would do something like that. But if he was drunk, and she, they were living together, obviously, and she walks around the house half naked. I never walked and my around dad, the house half naked. I've, 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 I've had to tell her to put clothes on when she was 14 years old, and I went to the trailer to visit him, and she was running from one end to the other with a no. towel on, and I said, there's a room full of men out there, little, little girl, you get some clothes on. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Did your father ever say anything to you about them having a relationship? Yeah, oh, he's told me they slept in the bed together multiple times. Well, hold on. So, Miss Marsh... Multiple times. You said it was different rooms in your testimony early. Yes. In my three-bedroom apartment, it was different rooms. And then when we lived at my mom's, I worked third shift and he worked first. We slept in the same bed, but not together. See, now see, see who's lying? See how the story changes? So wait changes? a minute, so wait, wait, wait. Your story... Our story isn't changing like hers. Your story is changing a bit. At first, we slept in different rooms. But and do you think it's appropriate didn't. for you to be sharing a bed on any level? Well, we don't sleep in the same room. But we didn't sleep Your in the same room. Why would I have sex with somebody I call my dad? Why would the you share a bed with him? The only man I've ever called the dad. Why would you share a bed with him? This is a lot to take in. I'm still not processing that you are sharing a bed with <clears throat> Mr. Belding's father on any level, but you know what? I'm ready to talk to your father. Hello, how are you? We are here trying to figure out what in the world is going on. Did you ever share a bed with Ms. Marsh? Kind of. I mean, the schedules between her mother's schedule, my schedule, and Amber's schedule, there was always someone there to take care of the baby. So, how do you feel if your son is accusing you of being the father of Ms. Marsh's daughter? It's, it's a little uh, frustrating. Um, I feel kind of demeaned by it, and I have never, ever laid a finger on Amber Marsh. Thank you. And I would never lay a finger on him. That is my dad. That is gross. Granted, he's they, a very handsome man for being 47. Well, years sir, old. your son, he's concerned that you're the person that invited her to live with you. When you guys went to live in another state, he says you arranged for her to come with you guys. Is that true? No. <sighs> he's lying. My grandma paid for me to go there because she knew how much Zach meant to me. Now he means nothing. When you stay out of a daughter's life for three years, you only come over three times, and the one time you do that's come over, you That's a lie, too, drunk. Your Honor. She dropped her off to me three times. The baby didn't even know me, and she just but dropped her off That's not my fault you her. never call or ask about her. Oh, really? I thought you just said I harassed you so much you had you to do, move, but now me. I don't call. All right, so the court has administered lie detector tests, yes, and we will have those results a little later on. Oh, good to the bottom of these questions that I can't seem to get answers to. Thank you. Miss Marsh, I want to hear about who's helping you with Jordan. He's the three years old. You're claiming he has come by three times. Yes. How have you been this doing This man right oh. here. Is this is your witness. And my mom. Please stand, Wait. sir. Step to the podium. Your name is? Tyson Hall. And you are Ms. Marsh's boyfriend. Boyfriend. And you've been helping her raise Jordan? This Every week. day. Every day. Every single day. Good job. I'm daddy. How long has he been with her? Two Your weeks, Honor? three weeks. Because no. Zach just had sex with her over six, less than 60 days ago. That's Spent a the lie. night with her oh, baby, you know, and everything. Lie. Came sure to did. see her again, and he said he is yeah, not he, to see he, her, and, and she slammed there. the door in Zach's face. So he probably he thinks that he can say when Zach can see this baby and when he can't. I'm trying to understand. So, Miss <laughs> Marsh, you're saying Mr. Hull is your boyfriend now? Yes, ma'am. 
and you did not cheat with Mr. Belding no. less than 60 days ago. No. No, Your Honor. That's a lie. We never had sex. His I, best I get, friend was get... in the same bed. Drake. You were in the bed with him? <sighs> yes. And oh, your friend but it was, was on the floor. Ago. Yeah, it was. It was, it was less ago, than two months ago, Your Honor. No, it was When not. was this? It was way before me and him got together. We and were... you two been together how long? Four, Four months. months. Four, Four months, months he's been a dad to a three-year-old. So, Mr. Holt, please tell me about me. the relationship you <sighs> built with Jordan. It's just an everyday thing. I mean, you got to be a dad to do everything. You know what I mean? You got to get a job, take care of the baby, play with her. I play every day with her. Good you job. Good together, job. Take her to the good job. You won't be around long, neither. She goes through men like you go through I'm toilet sure. paper, honey. Yep. You can Ask Matt Belding. He lived, can testify that she's her. a hoe. Oh, hold on, Miss. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'm sorry. Let's I'm watch sorry. our language and let's be respectful yes, in the courtroom. That's something she don't know how to do. All right. We'll see who the dad is. I'll always be the father. No, he won't. Every single day. We'll see these DNA results. We'll see Every the DNA single results. Day. We'll see the DNA results. I don't care what the problem is, I'll always take it. Yeah, well, she, call the police on you for kidnapping. He won't be around that long because she goes through him like toilet Every paper. So I'm worried about what he has to say. We'll see who's the father. And so, what are you feeling like, Mr. Belding? You're, you, do you feel like you've been shut out? I'm upset because this guy, two months out of nowhere, thinks he's the father of what could be my baby. What could be his baby? Where, we call where the show. Been? We want to know. Is where have you been? I was just there two months ago with her. That's what you he keep saying. He was just less than 60 me, days ago. Like she said, she moved That's without what you telling keep saying, him. Though. It was four months ago, and he showed it up drunk. It wasn't four months ago. Okay. But you slept in the bed with him. Oh, thank you. Well, yeah, of course. I'm not going to let you know. No, no. Hold on, because I'm tired of the story about how you take everybody in and everybody needs a bed, so I Thank can share you. mine. No, it doesn't work like that. That's right. Let's, let's, let's really be honest here. You admit that you shared a bed with him that evening, even though the friend was on the floor, right? Yes, and it was not, we were not together. This was nothing. Wherever he's been or whatever's going on between you all, within the last several months, you two have slept in the same bed, yes. had contact, yes. been close enough to where he even got in the house and got in the bed. Well, yes, Your Honor. Yes. Right. I wanted him there, and I, I had him sleep in the bed because I wanted him there. I want him to be a dad. But he's not. He's not calling. He's not showing. She I just slept in the bed. Maybe, maybe, no. maybe he would stay if he, he slept in the bed with me. I and he left that morning, 8 o'clock in the morning. To go to work. To, no, to not go anywhere. Because he was, he was hung over. <clears throat> the only reason why he came over because he was hung over. Now we're getting to the truth now. So, when you had him come over... No, he came no. over by himself. He knocked on my like window. Like I do all the in time the to go see her. In the middle of the night. Like he tries and she to slams the door in my face. Just went there last week to see her. Moved last, without how, telling me last nothing. Last week, last week moved. You I don't even know where we live. Not That's anymore. Just I just said, said that. Listen. You listen. He, moved, he was there last week. We moved four, three or four months ago. So how can he be there in the last week? I, he did. And I so just said he everything. came to where Thank he thought you, you lived, but you. you were gone and yeah, you moved without telling Yeah, because we harassing him. us. And they didn't tell... She didn't... Can I just say, she keeps saying that we don't try to see the baby, and then she says we harass Trust him. Trust me, is I it? hear it. Okay. Look, Thank you, Your Honor. Can we just do a lie detector test and do DNA test? Oh, I can go home and get my baby. I... Yeah, because we're getting our baby. You ain't getting nothing, honey. You guys. He didn't see her the first two years she was alive. Okay, everybody. Okay, well, the story on I'm that is... I'm done now. Okay, that's fine. I'm done. Okay. I don't have a problem with a man that has enough heart to love a right. child. Absolutely. That Absolutely. Doesn't Absolutely. have any Absolutely. Absolutely. That's a beautiful thing. That's great. But great. you all tell two completely different stories. Yes. Thank goodness for DNA and Amen. a lie detector test. So let's get this done. First, we're going to do the DNA results. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Marsh versus Belding, Belding, pertaining to whether Mr. Belding Sr. or Mr. Belding Jr is the father of three-year-old Jordan Marsh. Mr. Belding Sr., you are not Jordan's father. Thank you. I already knew that. Thank you. Mr. Belding Jr., 
you are her father. Thank you. That, that's my baby. That's our baby. That's my baby. Not yours. You think so? Mine. You think Stay so? Right here. Mine. Stay right you think here. so? I got rights now. Yes, you do, sir. Oh, yeah. Before we go, you were very concerned and wanted to know the level of intimacy was shared by Ms. Marsh and your father, Mr. Belding Sr. That concerned you. Of course it did. I have yes, the lie Honor. detector results right here. Are you ready? Oh, yes. yes. The question read as follows. Ms. Marsh, you were asked, have you ever had sexual intercourse with your ex-boyfriend's father, Mr. Belding Sr.? Yes, ma'am. You said no. And the lie detector determined that is the truth. There you go, buddy. I told you. So, you know now. Yep. That they haven't had any sexual activities yet. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And so you can put that to rest, too. Yeah, but I'm still disgusted that they shared a bed together. I'm disgusted, too. Thank but you. you know what? That doesn't have anything to nope. do with Jordan. Right. Nope. And now, let's focus on her. Yep. Yes, I Rana. wish you all the best of Thank luck. Thank you so much. Take care of that beautiful little girl. We'll try. Court is adjourned. Miss Chris, you say that before your brother's tragic death one year ago, he told you that he was not the biological father of the defendant's 18-month-old son, Malachi. You have petitioned the court for a paternity test to defend his honor. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Ms. Thompson, you claim that the plaintiff's brother, Vantrese Chris, is Malachi's father and say today's result will prove your case and clear your name. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Chris, I'll start with you. You say you need to know. Yes, I need to know. Explain. Um, first, I'm here on the behalf of my deceased brother and my mom, just because this girl is claiming um, that my brother have a baby with her, which I don't believe. You know, it's been a lot of different stories. It, it was said, like, it was... Um, she was doing this for the money. And um, she, also, she said this was um, another man's baby before um, it was my brother, before she came to my brother. I never said it was no another person baby. Yes, she I did. never said who my baby father was. Yes, she did. She's flip-flopping. You know, I never flip flop. You're, you're flip. You're flip flopping because first you said it was another man's baby. That's why you didn't tell my brother that no, it was his I baby. No, I told your brother. No, you did not. You you said when the baby came out, the baby started to look like Ventries, and that's why and that's why you said it was my brother's baby. I Let's never tell the truth said. Now. I'm telling the truth. I never said that when my baby first came out. I didn't tell nobody, and I never directly gave a name of who my baby father was. So you never so right. You didn't know who your baby daddy was. Right? No, I didn't say. That. I didn't know who my baby daddy was. I said I never told nobody who he was. All right. I want to take it back because I want to understand from the beginning. I want to understand what was the nature of your relationship with Mr. Chris, Miss Thompson? How long did you all date? Where did they you... didn't date. <laughs> 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 she, she had no relationship with my brother. She's a... We uh, had an on and off type of relationship. How long y'all was together? I've been knowing Ventrice since... Knowing. It's knowing and together is two different things. I was on and off with Ventry since... And his friends, too. Be, no, not his, never his friends. Never. Yeah, yeah never let's be for friends. real. Are you suggesting, Miss Chris, that Miss Thompson was sleeping with your brother's friends as yeah, well? Yeah, I love them, yes. No, I never slept with his friends. Oh, I yeah. know that. Like, you just... That's just the number one rule. You don't do that. Right. But... We was just on and off. He had a lot of girlfriends, a lot of different girlfriends. So what made you think he was special? Oh, I knew I wasn't special. So you knew he had a lot of girlfriends. So yeah. how y'all how you, how you, was in a relationship? Well, let's be, on let's and be off clear. You, you, you don't have to be special to someone to get pregnant. No, you don't. So you let's say that. Don't. You don't. You it's don't. the truth. I'm just wondering how long the relationship lasted. The, even if it was just a sexual relationship, how long? We've been freaking since 2017, the beginning of 2017. Freaking. What the hell? <laughs> We've been having a sexual relationship since 
2017. Okay, so take me to the day you find out you're pregnant. Well, I was at my brother girlfriend's house at the time, and she was like, uh, she's like, looking a little pregnant. And I'm like, I ain't looking pregnant. a little pregnant? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I set up, I called the doctor, set up an appointment. And when I got there, they did say I was, they confirmed that I was pregnant. And they confirmed that I was already 17 weeks. And so at that time, you knew exactly who the father of your child was? Yes. And did you call Mr. Chris? Yes, I told him that I was pregnant. Did he question whether or not he was the father? No. That's a lie. Did you tell him he was the father? Yes. I'm like, no. I'm pregnant. No, that's not baby. true. That's not true, Yana. What do you know? I Ms. know Chris. that my brother was denying the baby. This girl was pregnant, but she never told Ventrice that it was his baby. She was saying that she was pregnant by somebody else. But when a baby came out, the baby came out looking like Ventrice. You know, he's a handsome little boy, you know? That's when he called me. I guess they was having some little family issues. And that's when he called me, like, sis, this girl um, said that, that she got a baby by me and she going through some stuff. Can you come and get the baby? Uh, I come and get the baby, even though he's still denied. Like, I don't know if this is my baby, sis, you know what I'm saying? Um, I come and get the baby. As I come and get the baby, I got the baby. I'm buying the baby clothes. I'm buying the baby pampers. I'm buying the baby shoes, milk, whatever the baby need in my care. You know, even though he said. So if you were doubtful and if your brother was doubtful, why did you say, I'm going to go get the baby and then invest so much time, energy, because money? Because I, I wanted this to be his baby, you know? The baby looked it like him. It did, the baby did look... When the baby was younger, it favored uh, Ventrice, you know? And I wanted... This would be his first baby, you know? I wanted to be... You know, me... You know, he don't have any kids. You know, me and him are already close. So I'm like, oh, it's, it's a baby. I'm excited, you know? Let's... I'm gonna go get it. So I go get it. Me and my mom examine the baby. Like, okay, look, ma... <laughs> look at me. Look at Ventrice. We both look alike. Look, we got the baby up to me. We got the baby up to Ventrice. <laughs> we like, this your baby, boy. This your baby. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so you all were, like, rooting for it. Right, you we all were, like, look... It. We okay. was always not in denial. We was not in denial until after Ventries died. What happened? She was just really, like, clout chasing. And then, you know, when you die... What's clout chasing? Clout chasing is, like, she wasn't doing what she was doing when she just told Ventries. She was, like, under the radar, not trying to keep it a secret. But when Ventries got killed, she was all baby Ventries this, baby Dooski this. I've been saying baby Dooski before he passed. When your brother passed away, what did your family think? Were they all saying, we still don't know if this baby is ours? Right. But after you had the baby for two weeks... And then I got the baby again after that. I got the baby again after that two weeks. Okay. Because we were still rooting for the baby not being... Even my brother was like, I don't know why you keep getting that baby. That's not my baby. You know, he was telling me yeah. not... <laughs> yeah, he was telling me... Oh, he said that? Yes, is that yes. Mine? No, he was... He was saying that... Yeah. Oh, so the first time he asked you, hey, she needs a little help. Right. Can you help? Well, then you all got yourself so worked up and wanted the baby to be his and he looked like us mm -hmm. and you're doing all this. Then you all kept getting the baby and he was like, hold on, I right. just asked y'all to help one right. time. Right, exactly. Don't go overboard because <laughs> right. I don't know <laughs> if that's my baby. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So... So then you all said, what? I mean, if he's telling you, like, look, y'all, I, I, I don't know about this. Then I was saying, like, okay, brother, this baby do look like you, you know what I'm saying? Let's just go get the DNA test and, and prove that this baby is yours or not, you know? Um, he was, like, dodging, like, no, nah, because he didn't he did want it, the, the baby to be back her because, again, she was sleeping with his friend. Well, now Never that you say that, I want to get to that. Were you sleeping with anybody else, Miss Thompson? Let's just be honest. No. I don't... I, I don't... If, whether friend, it was his friend or anybody else. At the time where I had got pregnant or got con conceived my baby, I was not sleeping with nobody. But I did have a boyfriend. <laughs> okay, thank you. But that was... Wait a minute. After the fact... No, <laughs> this is... 
This was after the fact I found out I was pregnant. She got it all twisted I up. had a boyfriend after I found out I was pregnant. That's when I got into a relationship. No, you thought your boyfriend... Oh, she thought no, the my boyfriend, boyfriend was he had no possibility that, father. that my boyfriend could be his father. We never... We didn't so start you never messing told around us until after was, I it, found you, out. So oh. you're saying you met your boyfriend after you already conceived Malachi. No, after I found out I was pregnant after with you, Malachi. Well, that's probably what I meant. <laughs> after you conceived, that's after you was pregnant. Okay. So now Malachi's 19 months... What kind of relationship did he have the opportunity to develop before Mr. Chris's untimely passing? None, really. None. Like, he seen them when we was outside, but that's about it. So, no real relationship at all? No. The only thing he has is his music. That's about it. And so, what have you told him about his father? Well, he's too little now. He don't understand, but I do tell him that's your dad, and if he see a picture of him, he's gonna say dad. Oh, he's adorable. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Miss we... Chris, I do have to ask you this. I mean, you've been so supportive. Yeah. Why did it take you so long? It's been 19 months to it... just come to court and really get the answers. Um, we actually had a DNA test. First, she said it was a DNA test in the mail, and it's still in the mail. It's been in the mail since, uh... Um, no. So, June. Tell, wait, tell me the story. It's in the mail. What? Yeah, she... She said she was going to order a DNA test when she got her taxes. So, she got her taxes. We, me and my mom contact her, like, did you order the DNA test? Oh, yeah, I ordered the DNA test. It's in the mail. It's still in the mail. So... No. It's not there because the one that I was trying to get her mother didn't want. She's lying. Okay, well, what is the different... one that's supposedly in the mail? Did you say something was in the mail and it never came? No, I never said it was She's in the mail. She's lying. <laughs> so, the, so basically, you say she said to you, "I'm getting one and it's in the mail, in the but mail. it never came." But it's still so in the you mail. felt like she was avoiding it. Yeah, she was avoiding it because, because she knows this not my brother. No, baby. I was never avoiding it. I wanted a, a DNA test each and every time. I was all born. right, but we didn't get one, and that's why we're here today. Exactly, Miss yes. um, Chris, your mother yes. actually sent in a statement. Okay. She was unable to make it today. Okay. She sent a statement to the court, which reads. Theodosia claims that my son Vantrese is her son's father, but I don't believe her. I didn't even know anything about Malachi until after he was born. My son never said anything to me about having a baby. I have asked Theodosia for a DNA test several times, and every time I've asked, she's always had an excuse. Exactly. That's a statement from your mother, Mary Ann Miller. And Mary Ann Miller is telling the truth. I never had an excuse. I always was ready to get a DNA test. Been ready to get a DNA test. Well, we're here today to find out yes, if Malachi is. is my nephew. So, or not. talk to me about the relationship your family has with uh, uh, Malachi, Miss. We Chris. don't have no relationship with him. You don't? No. So, even after you came to get him those times? Yeah. Then you just stopped? Yeah, because why would I keep continuing to? I'm I'm broken. A million of pieces. I just lost my brother. You know, that's the... He was the closest thing to me. Why would I put all my emotions into this baby then and turn around and this baby not his? And then I'm gonna be broken again because I thought this was my brother baby. And what are your thoughts, Miss Thompson? I see tears in your eyes. Because <laughs> my thought is I wouldn't lie about it. And then he's gone, so why would I still be claiming someone that's not here? It's very hard being a single mother. Very hard. And then I have a son at that. Boys is... Boys don't really listen to their mothers. And all I wanted was to have... When I do decide to have kids, I always wanted the father to be there. And unfortunately, he can't. And I'm just... That's why I'm here today, because I need to prove to everybody that he... Not to, even to everybody, to his family, that... Ventrice is the father of Malachi. And are you hoping that they will be a part of Malachi's life if, in fact, he she is the father of Malachi? She know we are. Yes, and I know how they is. We, she know we are. We, we, we are family orientated, you know? We love everybody in our family, you know? 
And like, if this That's baby all is, I want. yeah, if this baby is my it's nephew today, I give her an apology and a hug and take my nephew today. So yeah, and that's all I want. Let's go to the results. There you go. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. Because there wasn't a blood card available to test the DNA of the deceased Vantrese, Chris, we performed a DNA test with his surviving parent, Marianne Miller. In the case of Chris versus Thompson, when it comes to 18-month-old Malachi Thompson, It has been determined by this court the percentage of relatedness between Ms. Marianne Miller and Malachi Thompson is... zero point zero zero one percent. You know They are wasn't. not related. You knew it wasn't. You knew it wasn't, and you're wrong for that. You're wrong for that. And I just want you to stop on Facebook saying, that's my brother, baby, because you knew in the first place it wasn't. I didn't Chris, know. Chris, yeah. Miss Chris, Miss Chris, let's use respectful okay. language. I know you're so upset. I'm so upset. She knew. That's why she was doing all this running around and didn't never want to take the DNA test. Miss Thompson, I have to ask you for Malachi's sake. Do you know who his father is? No, and I, quite frankly, I really don't care. I've been doing it by myself since forever, so I'm gonna continue to do it by myself. That's no problem with me. Well, good I luck decided to, you. to have him. Listen, you came because you wanted your child to have a father. Just because it didn't turn out the way you want it, I'm not gonna let you now start doing all this stuff and all this popping off like it don't matter because he don't need a daddy because he don't need this. You needed yours, and your son needs one, too. If there is a chance that you can identify who he is, then do it. Yeah, get Malachi dead. 